Hey y'all, shalom. Um, <sighs> just wanted to come on here and tell you guys um, some disappointing news that we had. Um, we received a letter. Sorry, the dogs are making a lot of noise. Um, we received a letter in the mail <clears throat> um, from the Homeowners Association basically letting us know that we had to um, get rid of our quail. And a lot of you all know that um, we invested in the quail. Um, first of all, it was it was um, a program that was going on through the organization that we um, fellowship with. And, um, you know, it was such a great idea. You know, we were excited about it because it's perfect for, um, you know, if you can't really keep chicken in your backyard, chickens, then, you know, quail would be a great option. And um, so anyways, we ended up finding out that we couldn't have the quail. They sent us a, no a notice and basically said that um, we had two weeks to get rid of the quail. Um, they thought it was chicken, but it was actually um, quail. And quail usually isn't very loud, but <clears throat> we had more male quail than we did female quail. So they were kind of doing like the mating call per se, but you know, it's just really disappointing because we really, you know, we had a plan in place for, you know, you, as you all know, I'm a new prepper and, you know, just trying to get everything together for, you know, when, when hard times come and when the famine comes that Biden was talking about within the next one to two years, you know, we were just trying to make sure that <clears throat> we were able to have, uh, you know, meat and eggs and vegetables, you know, we're growing vegetables and fruit and herbs and different things like that. Um, so, but the quail, the quail was the biggest contributor to what we were stocking up on. Um, we had started um, butchering some of the quail and freezing them. It's just disappointing that uh, our plan didn't work out with the quail. We're still planting and gardening. Um, I'm still learning a lot about the whole gardening process. So let me just show you guys what we had. Um, this is what we had the quail in. And now it's just turned into like a little um, gardening area, but that's where we had it. And we were actually gonna put more cages down at the bottom. We were gonna build it out, <sighs> but unfortunately that didn't that didn't um work out like we planned um and then ram built some some planter boxes which we're actually getting ready to do a whole lot more now that we are unable to do the quail project but so i'll i'll show you guys a little progress of what what we are planting um <laughs> it's not and I don't know, it's just not the same as having the quail, but um, they're, they're growing. They're all kind of slowly growing. Um, I wish it would grow quicker than, than the progress, but you know, you have to be really patient when you're gardening. Um, but we've already had some of the vegetables grow. Um, I'll kind of give you all, give you all um, a little peek of what we're growing. <clears throat> um, so let me start over here. As you can see, this is our, what is this one? This particular one, these are the cucumbers. We have it over here labeled. Um, and they're, they're doing pretty good. I believe we planted the cucumbers. I don't see the date. Okay, this one doesn't have the date on it, but we, we probably had the cucumbers growing for about a month now. And here are our onions. I don't know if y'all can see the progress there, but that's the onions that we, I just see one little stem. Oh, well, there's one right there as well. And then, um, let's see, down here is the broccoli. The broccoli is, has a lot of progress going. Um, this is our spinach. And over here is the cantaloupe. Let me turn you guys around. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, this is better. So, 
we've been doing a lot of uh researching trying to figure out if the um if we're doing our gardening right um some of the plants okay so we had a big storm come through yesterday and you can see all the water that's still left in here and i want to say i don't think it's supposed to be sitting in water so let me take this out I don't even know if that's from this or what, but there was a lot of, um, uh -uh. there was a lot of rain that came through here. Um, but I guess my problem is things just look so dry. Like, I don't know. I don't know. And then the, that's supposed to be the carrots. Oh, there's a little progress. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we got some progress going. I didn't see that before um and then this is more onion so there's a little leaf there and let's see what else do we have over here this is garlic look at that so that's growing we're making some progress that's garlic and this is our tomatoes that are growing this particular tomato plant was a lot smaller i showed it in one of my videos but now it's starting to grow three tomatoes on it we we bought it as a um, tomato plant so the reason why it's growing so quickly from the others is because we planted this one in um, but at that time it didn't have tomatoes but there's some tomatoes growing and then these are the ones that are that we planted with the seeds. So these are the little seedlings coming through. And then watermelon right here. And we just planted these watermelons. I thought I put the date on these, but I guess I didn't. And this is lettuce. But do you see how dry it is? I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that dry. So I'm just, I just wanna make sure that it's growing like it's supposed to. And then these, this is the radish. So we got some radish growing as well. And up here is supposed to be green peppers and nothing yet with those, but hopefully they'll grow in quickly. But like I was saying, we, um, let me turn you guys back around. Well, I'll just do this. We are actually, um, going to be making some red some raised garden beds so hopefully you know we'll be able to um make more progress because this is the perfect time and now i feel like since we can't raise the quail it's almost like you have to put so much more into your gardening and so you know i've always for for um a about the last year, I was thinking about just going vegan because when you go vegan, you just eat your vegetables in your garden. And then, you know, you never know when, like, when the power is going to go out and we have to live off grid. You're not going to be able to have a um, freezer full of food. So just going into, like, um, uh, canning and freeze drying things and just really go hard on that because they say one to two years but um you know it can be it can it can be definitely a shorter amount of time um i don't know if y'all watch homestead heart but mr or miss well mr and mrs h did a video about how we had about six months and i wouldn't be surprised if it's it's you know things get even worse in six months as far as food shortages and stuff. So we're just really trying to stay um, productive and and um, proactive and trying to make sure that we're doing what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to live in fear, but it's just like, I don't know, it's like a heaviness, you know, during this time um, because you can almost feel the famine coming so anyways i i just wanted to get on here and just let you guys know <laughs> try not to be negative but it's just a really difficult situation especially since we you know put a lot into our quail and um we ended up blessing a brother friend with the quail that we had left um and hopefully he'll be able to you know 
really do some things with the quail so that it didn't go go to waste and you know we were able to be a blessing by blessing him with that and then and we even had our first we even had our first um baby quail um come out of the egg so anyways i just wanted to get on here and tell you guys that um and the last thing i had said uh was to make sure that you prep as much as you can if you don't have your bug out bag you should be prepping your bug out bag we have a video coming up soon um, showing some different things that we found at the Dollar Tree. You don't have to get a whole bunch of stuff all at one time, um, but you do need to make it quick, you know, because we don't know how much longer we have. So um, basically that is all I wanted to say today. Just wanted to give you guys an update on the quail cage as well as um, just give you a little update on the garden that we're planting and um sorry that my face was cut off i didn't even realize it was cut off i need one of those little camera holder things where i can be out here and my face is not all in y'all's face but anyways thanks so much for watching and i will talk to you guys next time shalom